Alright guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series, we're on to episode number 30, and today we are Sizzle, and as you can tell, it's a frying pan with Sizz hiding behind an egg. I have no idea why I made that, but thank you so much to Premier J. Poisson. But for today, I believe we're in Champ 2, Division 1. Yeah, we are. So we're just making it up to halfway through the Champ ranks, and hopefully we can continue our win streak today. I don't think we've lost a game in the series, so um, let's jump into the next game, see how they go. Also, if you are new to the channel or you're enjoying the daily uploads, I appreciate you guys every day for watching the videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to help the road to 1 million subscribers, subscribing would help out a ton. And it's totally free. But now let's jump into the game, see how they go. So I just checked the win streak on this account, and we're actually at 96 with a big flame right here. So if we win four games in this episode, that will be a win streak of 100, which I think is the biggest win streak I've ever had in Rocket League. So let's jump into the next games, see how they go. Wow, that's incredible. Wow, 96 game win streak. That's insane. So we're going to do four games in this episode, and uh, hopefully we make it to uh, the 100, which means we have to do four games and win all four. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. Like I said, that's I'm pretty sure that's the highest win streak I've ever had. Just because, obviously, uh, this is the first time I've done like a super long series like this. I got H-Slap on my team. Pretty aggressive so far. Good play, though. Got lots of space to use the, uh, the backboard once again. I know you guys are joking about that a lot, but um, the backboard is honestly your best friend most of the time. Um, up until later on when people start to defend it. But you can see this guy's just on the side of the field. And then drugs are bad, is in the middle of the field, and he's not really doing too much with the backboard. So, pretty free real estate, lots of space to use. But we got an early goal, which is good. See my team making a push up. Good 50 50, should be able to finish it too. Nice. Yeah, I didn't have to do too much there. Um, all I did was just a normal straight kickoff, didn't even do a speed flip. I uh, just got a solid kickoff, and Sea Biscuit didn't get a good 50 50 there. I think for Sea Biscuit, what he needs to do is try to clear that to the right. Or bait in the 50-50, because he actually beats the other guy if he goes faster, so... Uh, two issues there. A solid start. We got two goals. See how I'm just baiting in the 50-50 and then I'm leaving? That's going to keep the possession here, and now I have some space. And you can see I'm trying to bait the player in, and he, he's so scared of challenging me. It's a good play, though. I'm watching for the bumps there, that's why I jumped. Since my teammates are rotating out, I'll stay with it of a miss from the opponent and look at this backboard once again hopefully my teammate can follow it up here good try so i did that safely so i can get back behind my teammate after he makes a shot and now i have to wait for this touch good demo for my teammate i know there's lots of space so i'll bump this off the wall and then now it's a follow-up for the shot once again i'll just pop it off backboard because look how unprepared <laughs> okay i was gonna say look how unprepared the uh the opponents were and my teammate um but teammate almost got a shot off the corner a good finish nice a little setup for the the teammate in mid drugs are bad kind of pushed up on a ball that he shouldn't have i popped that around and then uh my teammate was able to come in a clear and clear the ball towards the net um so a little bit of a, a bad rotation from drugs are bad and wait for wait for him here he's kind of making a bad touch so both of them are pretty congested in the middle uh or on the side there so i'm gonna make sure i make a challenge no way what is that shot what <laughs> Oh my god! That's actually nuts. Alright, nice. Um, H-Lab should get the mid-boost here, and you should be able to follow it up. Okay, decent clear cross, but doesn't do too much for us. Right here, I'm just going to try and bait in the player to make a bunch of touches that he doesn't need to. That's kind of me just playing this level. I shouldn't have done that. It's a good 50-50, uh, though. I, think, I don't think I'm doing too much. We're pretty much tied up with my teammate, so... Just a pretty weak play from the opponents. Like, there's a bad clear. Then mid, Seabiscuit's wasting all of his boost and missing. Bad clear off the backboard. Really scorable there, but I'm going to wait. See if my teammate wants a touch. Really aggressive defense, like, from the opponents. They're kind of pushing up on balls I shouldn't. I don't know what's going on. This is a mess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move by my teammate again. Decent touch, but it kind of goes mid for the shot. There we go, just waiting in net there, because I know that that ball's going to bounce pretty dangerously. Now my teammate can make a touch. Good aerial. Good try. A lot more time to work with the ball there than he had, than he, uh, than he used. There we go, get over one player. Um, a lot more time, like I said, if there's a lot of space to use on the field, use it. Because uh, there's no need to waste your boost 
and positioning on a ball that's not threatened at all. So definitely the big part of how you're going to get uh, ahead in the game. Like right there, I see that the opponent's making a touch. So then I just wait here for the next touch. And I don't have to do anything because there's so much space to work with. And that's what's allowing me to walk all over them. That ball bounced kind of strangely, but it's a good shot for my teammate. Like I'm not doing anything too crazy. I know I can beat him if it's if the ball's coming towards me. So I, you know, that green light in my head. Once again, it was a, a long time ago. Um, like not a long time ago, but a couple weeks ago, that red light, green light episode with the traffic lights. Uh, definitely, once again, that's a big part in, in my decision making. Like just letting the opponents make a touch he doesn't need to. Popping it up. Waiting for him again. And then I'm just going to threaten him again. Now I have possession on the ball. Pop it over one. And my teammate can collect it. Not great because he hands it back to the opponents. Good try on the shot. I was going to let that in if uh, if he made the, the shot. So I just try to jump at it. You're supposed to try and go for those. Great defense from Seabiscuit. You want to try and go for those. Um, if you can. Because the opponents will have a free shot otherwise. Good save. Good save again. So there's, there's some good defense. Right there I probably should have taken the mid boost. But the guy missed it anyway. So it's off the backboard. I just wait for it instead. Oh my. <laughs> uh... Oops. That's a good shot. I'm going to miss this one. Okay. He made me jump. And then I ended up saving it. <laughs> I was going to try and just stay on the ground and, and wait, for, wait for the miss. But uh, the guy made me jump. And I kind of just muscle memory that one. It's my bad. There we go. Good clear. Drugs are bad. Waiting. Good save. So, like, I know that people have commented that, like, I'm not, you know, as inconsistent as Champ 2s and stuff. But obviously that's going to be the case. Um, I'm trying to show what you can do to position to make the games easier for you. I'll pop this to the right side. See if my teammate can clear it. He ends up missing. It's a good shot. I'll just miss this one to let it in. Um, hopefully not frustrate the opponents. I feel really bad. I really do feel bad in this series. I'm trying to be educational and help a lot of people. So it's like, do you sacrifice the few to help the many? I, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to be uh, at the level, like you, like I said though, I'm I'm a little, obviously a little more consistent than the players at this rank because I've been playing for 11,000 hours, and uh, this is going to be a reality. Good bump there, and there we go. There's the first game, so we're on a 97 win streak here. A little spooky, but you know this is champ two. I think I, I can handle myself just fine, and we're looking good so far. We got Foopy Knuckles uh, on a team, Noble, no, no, oh, what? What? Are you serious? <laughs> it's a good shot. Good save, though. I'm not a fan of their name. That's mean. I mean, I mean, that's stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if that's what they mean, but if it is, you know, maybe I need to slap these guys. All right, let's see if, uh, yep. These guys are all PS4 or Sinet as well, so... But yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy with their name. Their their team name. Um, let's get a demo on the player that's following in mid here. So now the uh, the opponent has nothing to work with other than themselves and a solo play. It's a good play. Good shot towards net, and a good pass for my teammate. So he, it's good of him to recognize that I have, he has space to pass it across. And uh, yeah, these guys are like sarcastic and stuff. I don't know, man. I feel like we go no mercy on these guys. And I'm not a big fan of their name. Especially when they're, uh, they're, uh, what's it called? Their tag is no L B L BL as well. There we go. So you know what? I'm going to slap them around. I don't even care. You guys can hate me if you want, but that that is not necessary. That honestly should be bannable. I, I think that's just so, so necessary. It's fine. I missed though. Okay, the opponent, the other opponent kind of threw the ball away. And he owned gold. <laughs> Karma! There we go. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get reported, man. Nice one, no. This guy's mad, man. I mean, I guess understandably so, but I'm mad about him. I'm mad about him. Probably like 14 year olds, to be fair. Alright, good pass off to my teammate from the opponent. Good pass off from him as well, but he went pretty fast. Could have been a little bit faster to make that shot. 
Lots of time. I don't see Knuckles near the ball, so. Oh, close. Can he score it? Oh! With a pinch from the, <laughs> the opponents. <laughs> Should be a shot on target. All I need to do is just shoot it on target. You know, they probably don't even, don't even know why I'm I'm scoring so so much. I'm probably annoyed. They they're definitely calling me a Smurf right now, um, yelling to each other in in <laughs> in PS4 voice chat. But I honestly think that's deserved. All right, we got Headless Roach on my team, and we're against Acetylene and Cody King. Honestly, I don't even know what Acetylene is, and I hope that's not like a <laughs> a compound that's like a drug of some sort. Probably is. I have no idea. I'm pretty good with chemistry, but I've never heard of that before. Let's wait behind my teammate. Good clear from the opponents, but I'm able to follow it up. Good save from the opponent as well. Cody King holding the defense. Right here, I'm going to pop off the backboard. My teammate's still pretty dangerous, so I'm going to pop it off the backboard a little bit again. I'm going to pass this middle if I can, and my teammate is nowhere to be found. Oh, God. Good flick from uh, Cetylene. I'll call him Cetylene. Right here, I'm going to get a flick. The opponent's going to have the next ball, so I'm going to move away already. I'm already reading where the ball's going to go. So I can see where he's going to clear it from. It'll pop it off the backboard. Both of them are, are sidewall. They're, they're kind of in an awkward position. My teammate doesn't know where to be, so I'm going to get behind him if I can. Good clear. Throws so it to the side. Right here, he threw it away with that side flip, so I can go in and make a challenge. And once again, I'm just waiting for that guy to clear it to where I am because I can see that he's on the left side of the ball and I can move to the right side to get ready for that touch. Okay, big clear from the opponents. Cleared up behind the one player. Right here, I'll go backboard once again. They're not really blocking it at all or defending it. Teammate is in no man's land. He's kind of in the wrong spot. He should know that I'm on the right side of the ball, so I'm going to clear it. Um, I'm going to clear it to the left. Which means he should be on the left, ready for that, that backboard touch. Right here, you can turn around on this and make a challenge. Good try. Kind of hands it off to the opponent, though. This is a pretty high clear, but once again, I'm ready on the backboard end to try and get a touch. Right here, I'm going to pressure. I see my teammate trying to pressure as well, though. So I'm going to try and pressure now that my teammate moved away. It's a good challenge from the opponent, and I'll get the mid boost to back off. Teammate should be challenging now, but he does. It's a good bump and a good play. So that's good. My teammate could have probably pressured a little bit faster to make them clear the ball a little bit more, but it was a good bump from Acetylene to uh, to come after me right afterwards. What's he got? Oh. There we go. I knew that he was going to kind of try and make a play off the, uh, the dribble there. Teammates on it. Should be fine. So I can pressure this and make a, a shot towards backboard. They might miss. And there we go. There's a free shot. I keep saying this, but like the backboard is honestly like so dangerous for players at this rank. I'm not sure why. You just get a chip up nice and high. And he actually made a touchdown to me. I didn't, didn't even notice that. But uh, there's just so much time to use uh, on the backboard. The reason why I was able to get there so fast because I, I flipped towards the ball the second he let go of the possession. And then we can get a, a touch. Just to chip it nice and hard. I, I just do a little bit of a drift. Right here, the guy's challenging. So I'm going to pop up nice and high on the backboard. <laughs> Once again, it's a good read though. Right here, I can read the, the sidewall play pretty fast. Clear off to the side, that's fine. Good boost still for my teammate. I'm gonna fake him there, so that way I get the boost, and then I can make a clear down the field. Good catch from Cot to keep that close. I can get a challenge here. Apparently, I'm a rocket. Re re <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what are these achievements I'm getting? Alright, so mid pass maybe? Good try. Pop us towards uh, the back end. Makes up the clear to the side. Teammate needs to start rotating out. Good clear down the field. Right here it's awkward if I make a touch, so I'm going to stay close to it if I can. Bump the other guy. Teammate should have a wall, which is a good touch. Stay with it if you can. Ooh, good try. Okay, so the opponent passed it off the, off the side wall. You can see that he's uh, in a position that's not too great. Starts an air dribble. Kind of messes it up. Now I can clear it down the field with a nice hit off the, the sidewall here. It will give the opponent a, a time to catch the, the ball, though, but a good challenge for my teammate. I right, see what he's got. Good try. I know he's going to chip it in, though, because it's a little bit dangerous if he doesn't. Make it clear towards the target, and he didn't actually make a defensive touch. So, um, All I did there was just wait for the backboard touch. I saw the guy defaulting to net, 
So I just sit here in midfield, kind of give myself some space. Could have given myself a little more space as well. But I make a shot towards the target um, and just know that I have the possession. So I have all the time in the world to make a proper shot. I think I'm definitely like kind of amping it up a little bit in this episode, which I apologize. Make a flip. It's kind of high off the backboard. My team is pretty far away, so it actually kind of works out. Uh, I thought he would maybe be closer for a setup. Because uh, in Super Sonic Legend, I would probably I would probably set that up a little bit sl uh, lower for my teammate. Pop it around him if I can. And then I'll just make a shot towards uh, the backboard around the target. And see if my teammate can get re in a good position. So he probably should turn on this. It's a good shot though, and I probably can't make it back. That's why I said he probably should turn. Uh, because if he leaves the, uh, the players with a free touch, this could be bad. But we can't lose this win streak, man. We, we cannot. We're at 98 so far. We need two more wins. So, teammate off the kickoff. I'm a little bit scared of this kickoff because he was going slow last time. Good. Should be able to make a shot towards target. And that might be, just be in. Nice. There we go. So, there I just wait. Since the ball's uh, bouncing towards me off the sidewall, I know that I can beat Cody and he ends up backing off for the back corner. So, if I make a shot towards target right away, um, I know it'll be on target because he has to still get boost and get back to net instead of just the direct line towards net. Sort of like a hypotenuse situation. We got some boost here. Good play there. Acetylene almost got a flick off of the uh, off that catch. Good touch. This guy likes really likes to dribble. So right here, I'm gonna bump him and then take the ball back. Stay with it. Good play by my teammate. Cleared it out. And there we go. Oh, might be in. I think this guy's like secretly like a smurf, but like not playing too fast. I'm not sure though. That still seemed pretty good though. He's making good catches. Well, we got the next win. We're at 99. Oh my goodness. One more and we got the 100, 100 win streak. Uh, you know, my teammate didn't do too much that game, but at the same time, he was making some decent touches out of defense. I think his positioning was just a little bit weak uh, in the front end. We're champs 2 Division 2. Let's get into the last game see how it goes. All right, it's me and Floco versus Minnel. And Santamon? I have no idea. I think Santamon's fine, but I, I don't know if it's Minnel or Minel or something. Good demo from the opponent. He also has ball possession. Good fakes. It's a good flick, too. I should have jumped a little bit higher. I just wasn't sure when he was gonna when he was gonna cut it in or if he was gonna try and pass. But uh, decent try for my teammate. Doesn't really get a good 50-50 and keeps possession for the opponent. And since I was so far away at that time, uh, it's pretty dangerous to make a challenge without uh, covering your teammate. It's a good try. Good try from uh, my teammate again. Should be a shot towards target here. See if the opponent can make a save. They do, which is good. Get off the backboard. My teammate went as well. It's a little bit scary. Could be a could be a shot on target here. And I'm getting a good bump though, so it keeps him off the ball. All right, so now there's some space. Good bump. Oh, force it in. Oh no, nice try. Gonna follow up the the ball here. Wait for the touch. It's a good demo from the opponent, so they have a lot of space to work with. Oh, they might be open here. Like, I didn't expect the, the clear down the field. People are moving a lot faster in this game, though, because we're moving up to halfway through Champ 2. Um, it's definitely a little more confusing, though, because everyone's kind of missing weird balls and stuff. Everyone's trying to move faster. Like, I think everyone has the right idea, but they're just not able to execute as well. Wait for the clear. He may should go up for this. Good try for the bump. Just clear off the sidewall and then see if I can bump the opponent here. Woo! Close. Right here, I know I can take the ball because uh, he ended up flipping towards the boost in the corner. He's going to bounce in mid. I'm going to pop this off backboard. Good read from the opponent. Everyone's playing pretty solid, though. Got a decent 50-50. The opponent got bumped forward, and it should be open now. Good save, though. Good recovery. So now i got to wait for my teammate to get behind me. I'll make a challenge here. He pops it towards the, the corner, which is fine. See if my teammate can make a shot. Good try. Both players go. So now I have a lot of time. So what I can do is I can push in the ball to stay close. And then stay with this to get a flick. Could have probably went again too to stay with it. Right here I'm going to pop it up middle a little bit. Teammate was not ready. It's alright though. Okay, that's a hard hit from the opponent. So now I have some space to catch it again. So it's not good of him to... 
Oh, he's not even back. What happened? Oh, he didn't get the boost. He missed it. Um, so right there, the reason why I'm able to catch this is because I just wait for the, the player to hit it really aggressively off the backboard. And then I can make a catch and then try to go towards the net. Um, lots of time to work with there. The other opponent was back right corner. I thought he was going to come towards the net and I was going to make a, a pretty soft flick towards it. But because he missed the boost, he wasn't able to get back to, to net. Good play by the opponent to wait on that touch instead. Barry, I'm just going to try and bump him off so my teammate has some space. It's really important that if you're not going to get the challenge, you at least bump the player off, especially at, uh, at these ranks. Good try. It's a bit high. Opponent might make a touch. Good try. It forces to my teammate, though. Bit of a rush touch. Could be good for us, though. So right here, I'm going to wait on the left side because I see that the opponent's trying to clear it that way. Pop off the backboard, wait for Minel or Minel. Now the ball's going to go in mid for my teammate. Kind of gets a good clear. So now I can kind of make a challenge, make a shot towards ta target, and there we go. I didn't have to do too much there. Just make a shot towards target. Force the defense to panic a little bit. It's a decent pass up by Floco, and Santamon has a really awkward play to try and go for that ball aerial. So there we go. 3-1. to one. Looking pretty good. We're just going to hold this lead if we can. This will be the 100 win streak. I'll definitely go refresh the page and see if it's there. If not, then it probably just has to update after a while, but let's see. Make a good touch to keep it close. Make a good 50-50 here too. Now the opponent, Santamon's going to stay with it and try to make a dribble and make, maybe a flick. I'm going to try and go for this, but then miss. Just pop off the back pretty hard. Good try from the opponent to clear it. What a dunk from Floco too. Good patience by not taking the ball and hitting it right away. Hit that around one player. Hit it off backward if I can. Make it pass it off to Floco. And there we go. Nice shot. Well played. Well played. So a lot of space to work with there. I saw Mini kind of lose the ball by by uh, popping off the backboard. And then it just gives a free shot for Floco. It's really just like the, just kind of waiting for people to make mistakes. And then just capitalizing on them. And instead of just like full gung-ho into the ball all the time, 24-7, just take some time and realize people are going to make mistakes. People are going to make mechanical mistakes or just decision, like bad decisions. Um, and, you know, you'll get caught out here and there, like that little dribble in the background. But otherwise, just taking the time to make good plays and realize when the opponents are going to make bad mistakes or, or panic or just clear it poorly. And then you can collect the ball and make a pro proper play to your teammate. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That's number 30 so far. It's crazy how far this series has gone. Uh, we're close. We're closing in on Grand Champ already. Um, but until next time, hope you guys have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.